Okay, so today we're looking at this. This is the Swan Smart Video Security Camera for your home, small office, business area or shop. Something that's great about this device, it's so simple to set up. It says it on the box, easy setup in minutes. That is truly what happens. So with your smartphone, you, you would basically take this out of the box, connect it to your Wi-Fi network, your smartphone detects it, from there, it's an easy step-by-step -step instruction on the phone to just follow and set this up on your network and you get to see images within minutes. So let's have a, a quick look inside the box then. I'll open it up so you get to see what you get. Ooh, so you get your trusty manuals to set this thing up, but I would say the best way to set this up is download the app. It's free, it's very, very simple, step by step. Inside here you also get some stickers. You get stickers, theft deterrent stickers, so hopefully it stops thieves from entering your place of business or home. So in the box we get our actual camera itself and bracket on the back. You also get your stand, so I'll attach it in just two seconds. The plug inside our box here and then our Ethernet lead, so we can connect it just in case we don't have a Wi-Fi network, we can plug it into our router. So, on the back here we've got a little screw system. I simply just turn this until it goes tight, and there we go, it's on our bracket, it can flip completely upside down or the other way around. Um, really, really good manoeuvrability. So if you wanted to put this in a certain spot in the home or office, you would be able to. On the back of the device, you have an Ethernet port and also your socket to plug in the power, which is a 5 volt power. So on the back is where we set this thing up. You have a little button here on the left-hand side. Um, sorry, right-hand side. If I flick that up, when it's plugged into power, this will connect to our Wi-Fi network, or it creates its own Wi-Fi network. So this creates its own Wi-Fi network called SWAN. On your smartphone, you'd simply see that network, um, you would then connect to it, and then you were from there on the actual smartphone itself set up the device. Okay, so let's see this in action then. I've plugged in the device itself, I've flicked that button up, I've downloaded the free app, and what I get once I've joined the network, I open up the app, it tells me SwanSmart has detected that we are connected to a camera. Would we like to set that camera up? So let's go ahead and hit yes. At this stage here, it tells us, do we want to continue? Yes, we do. So we continue on to the next screen. There you go. I can see the camera straight away. So I can connect that camera to the internet. Now what it'll ask me to do is connect to my home broadband now, which I've got connected at the top here. So now I've done that, I can connect it to the internet. So, select it, select my password, hit continue. And this should be connecting my camera to the internet. There we go. Now what I can do is use an existing account or connect to a uh, or create an account. So I'm going to use an existing account, seeing as I've got mine. And there will be two moments and I'll sign myself in. There we go. I am now signed in. I get to see it. I can give the camera a name, so I'll call this one Bedroom for now, seeing as I have set that up in my bedroom. Hit continue. And the camera is ready to go. I can now switch uh, the actual camera into down. Once I do that, that is the camera set up. Every time I open this app, I just sign in with that username and password and I get to see the images. So you can see it's so simple to set up, really, really easy. If you've got a smartphone, uh, download the free app and there you go. The cost of the device itself is £79 on Amazon. So it's really, really simple device that you can just set up in minutes. And from your device, it can be either, an, again, an Android phone or iOS device. You're able to open up the free app and see the images live. Now, some of the cool things that I found from this is when you are viewing the images, uh, you can get to turn sound on, so you can hear what's going on in the room. 
You can also take a snapshot photo and that will go straight onto your device. Uh, you can also record video as well. So if there is a, a odd goings on or if you, there is a thief within the building or outside you wanted to check who's actually knocking the door, uh, you can turn this on, you'll be able to see it straight away, you can take photos, you can take video. So very, very secure. Something else that you can get set up with the app itself is push notifications. So if it detects movement using its camera and, and its sensors on the front, if it detects movement, then it will push you a notification to your device. And if there's not meant to be movement in that room, you can quickly check, you can quickly take a photo or quickly start recording, which I think is just fantastic. Really, really cool little device. I didn't have any problems with the setup. I've not really got any problems with the design, to be honest. It's very, very simple, very easy. It's a plastic kind of coating here with um, with a simple camera in there. The quality of the camera is not amazing. Um, it's thermal so it's black and white. I guess that's so it can do its moving images. Very simple. Then you can switch it into colour. So all in all, very very simple to set up. If it is something that, that you need, if, if I had a small business or a second property or something like that I'd love to keep an eye on what what's going on and making sure that everything's okay and I can quickly do that at the touch of a button on the app so very very simple to set up very very easy and and yeah I, I think it's a really really cool device